Okay, so I was working on one of my plugins. Uh, so this plugin is to make lake, basically. So a lot of advanced technique to replicate uh, a lake, basically. And so I was looking to create a sun sparkle, basically simulation on the lake. So based on the sun position, but also based on the normal of the lake. And so I found an easy solution to make this. And I just want to share that on my YouTube channel. Okay, so here we are on my lake material. So of course, this uh, will work on, I guess, probably all the water material. Uh, so either ocean material, lake material, or river material. But in this case, I'm using lake material. So I have pretty basic base color. So as you can see, I just have uh, a dark color. I also have my refraction setup here, the opacity. And so this is my normal setup. And that's what we're going to mainly use uh, to make this effect. So in order to work, I basically uh, use this normal. So I'm using those two textures simple, basically. And uh, here from there, I'm just going to take the value and I'm going to plug that into the B socket. And into the A socket, I have another normal, which is more like the shoreline normal so as you can see here on my shoreline i have different normal that in the middle of the lake and so uh we can actually if i go there as you can see the sparkle is actually reacting to this normal and not this one anymore uh, yeah so basically i have those two normal plug into a lerp and based on the distance to the nearest surface i actually choose to use either this normal or this normal, basically. Of course, you can use uh, any normal, any kind of normal, as long as you have two texture sample. So let me go ahead and show you that. So for example, I'm gonna bring a texture sample. I'm just gonna look for the water basic normal uh, inside Henry Engine. Uh, so this one right there. Uh, now I'm just gonna take a panel node because of course we need movement. Uh, I'm just gonna take coordinate node, multiply this by a parameter like this. And I'm just going to add a so low value. So for example, example 0 0.01. And I'm just going to bring an add node. I'm going to take this. I'm going to duplicate that. But I'm going to invert this value. So uh, by doing this, we basically very easily creating a uh, so wave uh, uh, for the lake. And I'm just going to add both like this. And I'm going to plug that into the normalized node. And now if I change the tiling value, do something more normal as you can see we start creating uh, those sun sparkle using our normal uh, so of course this is pretty basic normal but i just want to showcase that you can use uh, basically any kind of uh, normal logic uh, from uh, your uh, water material okay so now i'm gonna delete that and i'm just gonna work with my own normal and let me go ahead and explain you the logic behind this uh, so we want to use the atmosphere sunlight vector. So this is just going to take our uh, sun location. So our transform location. And we want to normalize this result. And so in here, we want to use the custom node. So basically to bring this, you need just to look for custom. And in here, uh, you will have this custom node. And uh, basically in here, you have this code. This will be down in the description, of course. And uh, you want to go and click on the custom uh, node and you just want to uh, create one more input so you will have one default input with no name and you just want to add one more and inside this so input name you want to have this exact incident name and for the other one you just want to have normal uh, name like this and once you uh, have that you're going to have these two parameter and so you want to plug the sunlight vector and uh, normalize into the incident input and so in the normal input, you actually want to put your normal logic and you want to make sure that you use the normalize node. So with your normal and you want to plug that into the normal input. Okay, so after that, we actually want to use our uh, camera vector uh, transform and we want to plug that into a dot product. So we will basically compare uh, those two vector. And so you want to plug the result of the custom in the dot products. After that, we want to claim that using the saturate node. So after that, uh, we are bringing a power node. Uh, so basically to increase the contrast of uh, the sparkle. Uh, so as you can see, I lerp those two values because we need a very high number for this. 
uh, in order to work. So I actually put uh, in LERP a thousand and on B I put eight uh, thousand. And so basically uh, using this LERP, uh, I can just stay in a range of zero to one. But basically, uh, let me go out. And so, uh, so right now this value, it's driven by uh, my blueprint. So from my plugin. Uh, and as you can see, we just are uh, adding more contrast to this effect. So this could very help to bring more realistic uh, sun sparkle. So I like to use a 0 0.5, which is basically around uh, 4000. And so after that, we have the sparkle intensity. So keep in mind that this result is actually plugged into the emissive color. So if you want to have a very uh, high intensity uh, emissive, you actually can increase this value. Uh, so in this case, I'm actually using my blueprint again. But uh, if you want to have crazy value that will just uh, blow uh, this effect, uh, you can increase this intensity basically. But uh, for realistic uh, sparkle, I would recommend not going above uh, 20 like I have in the blueprint. Okay, and so after that, I was looking for a solution to increase uh, this effect. Uh, I was basically looking to find a way to actually have different color based on where the sun is. So right now, as you can see, if the sun is on the zenith, uh, I will have a white color. But if the sun is at the uh, so sunrise position, as you can see, the sparkle turn a little bit more orange-ish. And so that's what this does basically. Uh, so for example, uh, if I want to highlight more this, as you can see, if I apply this uh, now, because the sun is uh, on the horizon, as you can see, the sparkle are now purple. But if I go above, as you can see, they will turn white. Um, so let me readjust the value this. And so basically here, we're just taking the atmosphere sunlight. Uh, we want to mask the Z component of it. Uh, we want to absolute this and we want to divide this. So uh, this divider uh, will actually help to control where basically uh, the sunrise will start to pop in. Uh, so let me show you that. Uh, so for example, if I turn this to purple, I want to apply that. Um, let me decrease this value, uh, this sun position like this. So as you can see, it's already uh, starting to turn into purple. But if I were to decrease this value to, for example, zero, uh, this will stay uh, white. So this value just help positioning uh, when we actually want to have the sunrise uh, color to pop in and out. And so I found a perfect value to be 0.6. Of course, it's really up to you. And uh, so after this, we want to saturate the results. And so we're going to plug that into the lerp, into the alpha. So basically uh, on the A socket, we'll have the sunrise uh, color and on the B socket, we're going to have the zenith color. And of course, we will actually multiply this result um, with our uh, logic and we want to plug that into the MCU. Uh, another parameter, parameter that could be useful is that uh, so after the dot product, uh, we can actually uh, so bring a divide node. So I'm going to plug that here. I'm going to make a parameter, change the default value to one, and I'm going to plug the result in here. And so let me show you what this can do. Uh, so let me bring the sun over there like this. Uh, and so now if I decrease this value, so I'm only control, so I have a slight change to this. But basically we're faking, I would say the overall size of the sun. So of course, I will recommend to not going too high on this value. So probably, so around this value like this. So I will probably, for example, copy this value. I will bring the lerp node and I will plug this value in here and this value in here. And so now I plug this value into the alpha, this value into the B sockets. Let's actually make this a slider. So I want to plug the one as the maximum value. I'm going to hit apply. And so now, I can actually control this and so change the name of this parameter uh, for a uh, size, uh, so sun size, for example. So yeah, I found this parameter useful. So this could be useful in some case. Of course, I like to have realistic results. So I'm just going to keep that at zero. 
All right, so uh, that's it for this tutorial. So if you have any question about this or if you have any suggestion, uh, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like uh, the video if you like it. See you.